Hello, it's Ryan here from RLF Vacuum Cleaners and Dagon Leaf. And today I'm going to do a quick talk on Deutsche Connections and more specifically the DT series. Uh, the DT series comes in three different sizes. You've got DTM, which is your small connectors, which are good for about 7 amps. You've got your DT connectors, which are good for 13 amps. And then you have your DTM, which are the big ones that do 25 amps. Uh, Deutsche connectors are connectors that are used in harsh applications. They're used a lot in diggers, scrubber, dryers, construction equipment, farm equipment. Thing applications where the connectors will be pushed to their limits. Uh, these are not only waterproof, but they're also temperature proof. Which means they can withstand temperatures of very low temperatures and very high temperatures. They can also protect against water ingress. Uh, they do actually claim that these connectors are, if they're mated and crimped properly, uh, are good for being three feet underwater continuously with no degradation to the electrical connection. And they're just very simple connectors that just click together. What you do is you grab your wire, you push your wire in the end, and then you use the correct crimping tool. So on the big 25 amps, you use a 12 crimper. Now on the DT series, which is the 13 amp ones, you use a 16, size 16 crimper. And on the DTM, you use the size 20 crimper. All these crimpers basically are, if we open up this one here, you can see that as we close it, there's four teeth come out and crimp the wire. Or crimp the connector onto the wire. Uh, they're very reliable, these connectors, and these crimping tools as well. I prefer the iOS ones, there are other ones that are a bit cheaper. But the iOS ones satisfy the need. They're not cheap, they're not expensive, but they're reasonably priced and do a very good job. I highly recommend them. As you say, they come in three different sizes, three different current ratings. And making a connector is nice and simple. You basically push your wire in, you crimp it. On the female ones, you just push them through the back. And then you use the little locking tab, which you then push in. I don't know if that's going to come up on the camera. You just push them in, that locks them in. And then you have the same for the other side. And again, they all have slightly different ways of working. As I say, these ones have the little seal on the inside. This one has it on the outside. These ones are the inside again. Uh, they used quite a lot in... As I said, construction and agricultural. Uh, Komatsu, Caterpillar, John Deere, they all use these connectors. Uh, scrubber dryers, a lot of tenant staff use these connectors for plugging in and disconnecting things like pumps and motors and things like that. Again, scrubber dryers used in very wet, damp environments. Not the best. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a piece of wire and I'm going to crimp a connector. So I've got myself a piece of wire. I'll strip the ends off, I'll just put the connector on and these connectors have like a little hole in them I don't know how the camera's going to pick it up but you can see that the wire is in all the way to the little hole so what we're going to basically going to do is we're going to open up the crimping tool we're going to push the connector in and with this particular crimping tool it holds the connector in the right place and all you do is squeeze it together which I'll do off camera now uh, just to get the crimp and and you can see it's put them lovely indents in. Which now means the connector is on nice and tight. So we'll do the other side and then we'll get to making the connector. So the actual making of the connector is nice and simple. You basically just push the two wires in the back. Back of the connector like so. What I've done is I push the connectors through into there. And then we'll grab this little plastic piece. And 
where I literally just kind of push and then you just push the plastic bit on the end like so and then you're ready to go so that is the connector all crimped now for these types of cables they do actually do a special plastic boot that goes on the back to cover all that up so it's all lovely and nice in one piece but I haven't got any of them at the moment so I'm going to have to order one of them but that is how you crimp a Deutsche connector you basically strip your wire put your terminal on the crimping tool crimp it push it through and then you put your little plastic locking piece on now on the other side you have a slightly smaller locking piece but again relatively simple hope there's been some help and thank you very much